Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you a common objection that a lot of sales pros are getting, the interest rate's too high. Watch this video, I'll show you how to overcome it every single time. Check it out. All right guys, so in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the interest rate objections. Now right now, if you're in any sales industry, I don't care, like let's say real estate right now, the interest rates are up, the feds have raised the rates, so what is going on? People are holding back because interest rates are a little higher. Listen, that's just, that's a smoke fog, that's a stall, that, that's nothing. I'm gonna show you how to overcome it. That's a smoke screen, it doesn't exist, that's fake, and there's always going to be an objection that people are gonna to wanna to lean into. If you're in the automotive space, I bet we could go back together eight months ago, okay? It'll always change in times, there'll always be different objections, but about eight months ago from the time I'm making this video, customers, consumers had to pay addendums, they had to pay market adjustments, they had to pay in some cases 10,000 up to 50,000 or 100,000 even more for a car than what it was worth because of supply and demand and market, right? So what happens is the interest rates were super low, it was almost like free money, but they had to pay all the dough for the car. Right now is quite the opposite. It's the best time for a consumer to make a deal. Inventory's coming back in, but the interest rates are up. So a lot of people are getting, yeah, I think I'm gonna hold off right now, the interest rates are too high. And salespeople are like, eh, I don't know what to do. Mr. Manager, can you come help me? Forget all that, I'm gonna show you how to handle it, okay? So are you ready? So here's the objection. By the way, grab a pen, grab a piece of paper, get ready to take notes and learn. This is how this is gonna go down. So you're bringing in a pencil to the customer, you're obviously going over all the numbers, you're ready to sign them up, and they see the interest rate. And they say, oh, I'm not paying that rate. The interest rates are too high, I'm just gonna wait. Somewhere along the line, that the interest rate's too high. That's the objection. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. You're gonna say, hey, number one, I totally understand. However, six to eight months ago, if you were to purchase a vehicle at a dealership, you'd spend anywhere from 10 to $15,000 more. Why? Because you could land a 747 airplane on most car dealership slots because they didn't have any cars. It wasn't a great time for consumers to make a great deal on a car, but the interest rates were super low. Can I ask you a question? On the financing part, right? You date the rate, but you marry the payoff. Let me explain what I mean. If the payoff, if you'd have bought a car six months ago and you'd have paid an additional 10 grand because of supply and demand, if that's your payoff and that's what you owe, can you refinance that? No, the payoff is the payoff. Off. You have to pay it down as time goes. But today, if you get a great deal on a car, which you are getting a great deal on a car right now, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, it is the best consumer deal on the market. Even though you're paying a little higher on a rate, you date the rate and not marry it. When they get a better rate on the market and the feds come back down on the rates, you're just going to refinance it. You've got a great payoff on your car. You've got a great price on your car. You're getting a great deal as a consumer. Imagine if you had to buy 10 months ago. Would you have paid $10,000 more? Probably not. But guess what? Everybody did because the rates were low. It was like free money. But now, you actually get a good deal, which means your payoff's gonna be less. But guess what? Even though the interest rate's a little more, you only date the rate. You see that rate that's on your contract? You're gonna pay that rate until the interest rates come down, and then you're going to refinance it. It's that simple. Any bank in the world would love to give that customer a great rate as rates come back down, and they go up and down all the time. So right now, they can have the ability to have a great deal on their car, which is they came in for, and then because the feds have raised the rate, guess what? They're just gonna date the rate for a while until they go back down, and guess what? They got a great deal on a car, they can refinance the rate whenever they go down, abracadabra, everybody wins. It's the best time in the world to make a deal. That's it, and that's what I love about interest rates. Interest rates go up and down all the time. Also, inventory does. So what I would also do is put a little scarcity back into them too, and say, hey, right now I'm gonna tell you, with supply and demand, since interest rates are up, but the prices are great on a car, man, buy the car, date the rate, when the rates go down, refinance it, because a little birdie told me in the next you know, three, four months, vehicle prices are gonna go back up again, inflation's always gonna go back up, and then guess what? Then you're gonna be caught spending more money on a car and paying a higher rate. 
Securing your best deal, write that down. Securing your best deal, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, is signing on the dotted line right now. Let's do this, by the way, I'll be happy to tell you about some good uh, financing companies around town that offer great rates as things change, like credit unions. You can point them in a direction of any credit union that'll be happy to refinance loans for anybody at any point in time um, whenever somebody sees a better rate on the market, okay? So your goal right now as an interest rate objection is to not get caught up in the stall. Don't get caught up in what they're saying. There's always gonna be a high price. There's always gonna be a higher interest rate. There's gonna be times when they're not gonna get enough for their trade-in, right? What's the objection today? The objection today at this point in time when I'm making this video is the interest rates too high. So write down some key notes. Number one, date the rate. Okay, really easy. Date the rate, super simple. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, obviously there is a rate on your contract. That is the rate for the full term of the loan. It's that simple. But as interest rates go down, interest rates can be refinanced. So you're physically going to date the rate. It's that simple. Secondly, this is super important. The price on the vehicle, the one that you're buying right now, consumers want a great deal. You're getting a great deal. So you're getting everything you want. Six months ago, you'd have paid an additional 10 to 15 grand for the same car, okay? Remember this, you can't refinance a, a what? a payoff, okay, but you can refinance what? The rate, okay? So payoffs are forever, interest rates are temporary, right? Especially if you got good credit like you guys do, everybody in the world will be fighting to give you the best rate on the market, especially as things change, which could be any day, any time, any month. So with that being said, what are we gonna do? Number one, I want you to write this down, we're going to speak, okay, with confidence. We're going to speak with what? certainty and lastly we are going to take control the three c's that'll change your life certainty control and confidence and if you can say the word tracks that i just taught you and you can have the posture of a closer and you can believe in yourself let your words flow like water practice saying this a thousand times believe it because it's the truth you know what these three c's match with this objection handling technique well, you'll be the best in the world. So I love you guys. By the way, if you're not training with me, and I don't mean on YouTube, right? I mean on the big daddy stuff, my best stuff. If you're not training with me on my elite training sales warrior academy, which is called Project 500, which is how to make a half a million a year selling. If you're not with me on it, I would highly recommend right now you stop whatever you're doing and you shoot me a text message and I'll send you some information on it. I'm gonna give you my personal cell phone number. It's 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. Shoot me a text, say, Andy, my name's Josh. Uh, give me some information on Project 500 on how to make a half a million a year selling. I'd love to share that with you. Lastly, if you love the video, like, comment, subscribe. Share it with the buddy that could help use some training to kind of get their day going, help get their month started, right? Pull them out of a slump or take them to another, another level. I love you guys. I got your back for life. Shoot me a text. I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.